Hello everybody, welcome to this playthrough for Master Division with various uh, wind here in Golf Clash and the game. Before we have a closer look at all the content in this video, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. That helps the channel immensely. For those of you that do want to take the next step in your game and improve it even more, you can scan the QR code here on the screen or use the link that is in the description down below called patreon.com slash gold clash tommy we there have checkpoint challenge tour play and tournament guides for everyone so make sure to check it out and sign up and improve your game today you can start as low as three dollars per 30 days info box on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment elevation adjustment also a ball and club type i suggest you to play with have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to but there is always a plan behind it so let's go to hole number one For option number one, it's an NMT, and we're going to start with an NMT and a power three ball. You can uh, play with many different type of topspin boost balls, but I do have a lot of face-off balls, and I do decide to play with that one. I just max no elevation P3, and we're going to add the three topspin boost bars with the max topspin and one right spin. And this is with a POC uh, 7 and 8. For a POC 5 and 6, we will have ex instructions in the slide on how much extra top spin boost to add. Pull back one and a half ring with a POC uh, eight and seven, and pull back one ring with a POC five and six. Two balls of right curl grid line to be going through the arrow at the center, and then we are gonna go max over power with a slower needle. You can hit great left, great right, and be fine. Here you can also choose to play with, a, you don't have to play with a face of ball. Would you have the digital ball? Would you have the smash ball? We do have the virtuoso, but there is so many different type of golf balls. And obviously, if you do play with, if you do play with a POC seven and a POC eight, that becomes even more uh, golf balls to suggest f to play from because you do have all the tops. A POC five and a POC six needs to be a little bit narrowed, uh, but that's why we also have an, an option number two. So on the wedge here, I do have notes for playing with the max top spin. I also have notes for play with the no spin, but I didn't have any notes for playing with a max top spin boost, which we will now be adding as well. Max top spin and top spin boost. This is for Embringer 7 and Embringer 8. I want the ball guideline to be through the hole here. Very important. You can see there I'm going approximately one green square through the hole. Very important. So now, sure, I do hit a great right, which brings me dead center, but I would say minus 50% elevation P2 numbers is what I would recommend to play here on this shot. Minus 50% elevation, P2 numbers, and obviously then true distance slider. Um, and then we should be... Um, and then we should be in that case a uh, very simple time of getting ourselves um, a drop with our wedge. When it comes to the end bringer adjustment, we play no spin, 10% elevation, P3 numbers. And when it comes to a uh, max top spin without the boost, end bringer 7 and end bringer 8, we do play minus 45% elevation, P4 numbers. I'm adding this wedge as a reference if you do happen to have a very, very unlucky outcome. And this from this range, I'm playing max plus 25 P3 numbers, right? So it's important to have in mind that that is what I play here. I want this one to be as a backup if you choose to play option number one and you do have an unlucky outcome when it comes to those all those bounces and bumps that is on the fairway, which we can't really... Uh, take ourselves away from it's going to happen at some point and then it's good to have a backup the wind is more or less dead straight tailwind which obviously helps so i do think that you will come around using a different adjustment as well but what i play here in the video i play max plus 25 percent elevation p3 numbers and we are dropping that one dead center to lock in the eagle
On hole number two, we are going to set up at the max P0 line. And you can see here that we do have a different ball to start with, but we are always going to start at max P0 line, blue ring to be by the rough line. Then we're using 0 0.8 top spin. What is to be preferred is to start with a basic ball because that will allow you to not get any accidental side spin. Now, when it comes to adjustment, it's 1 to 1 plus 0 0.8. So here we are adjusting 8.2 rings for 7.4 miles per hour. Adjustment is done and we are then going to center the ball and hit perfect. What we do recommend is to have a, a minimum P2 plus ball. And the reason we make that suggestion is that there is a headwind angle which could put us up to around plus four, plus five with a high wind. And then P1 ball will be just, just enough. So we don't want to danger obviously when it comes to that part. So swap to a P2 plus ball and then you're gonna be fine. Get our guides on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. We're doing a master QR and final round guide, an expert QR and final round guide. If you're only interested in nine hole cup guides, you can sign up for that individually or you can bundle it together with the 18 hole guides. Hole number three, we're going to play an NMT to start with. So don't touch the target until it's time to adjust the rings. For a POC 7 and a POC 8, you can play with a Luminary, which is a win three and also free to play ball in Master. Max top spin and one right spin. And we're going to make an adjustment that is max plus 15, power five. Once we have done that, we're going to push up in rings. A POC 8 is gonna push up eight rings. POC 7, 7.3 7 rings, and that's also going to be with a POC 6, and also with a POC 5, we're gonna push up 8 rings. Why the, why the heavy push up with a POC 6 and a POC 5? This is to compensate for the lesser topspin that those clubs have. What needs to be said as well, that if you do play with a POC 5 or 6, you need to play with a win 2 ball and not a win 3 ball. The reason for that is that you otherwise won't reach as far as we want because we do want to get the ball to approximately 500 yards. One ball of left curl is as well what we're looking for. Now, second shot, we're gonna play with our thorn. The reason we play with our thorn is because it's going to allow us to pull only once. And when playing with Falcon, it could be sometimes that we uh, unfortunately have to pull twice and that is something we do want to avoid, hence the thorn. Now, pin check is what we're gonna use, and we're gonna have plus six as a base. Plus six is gonna be 75% slider with a 15% elevation P5 numbers, and we're adding or subtracting 0.1 for every yard. If you happen to adjust down into the bunker, you should just play as it is. It could happen that you slightly adjust down if you do have a high wind. Uh, Perfect ball it is. The ball goes right at pin for lovely albatross here on hole number three. For hole number four, we are gonna play an NMT with a quarter back. Once we have done that, we're going to swap to Apocalypse and B52 bag. I'm gonna play seven top spin and one left spin. For those of you don't play that can't play with a POC 6 plus and only have a POC 5, then you're gonna push up one and a half rings after the adjustment. You're also going to apply inside wall left curl as we are going to be on a higher point and we need to use the curl to push the ball back a little bit left. Now we're going to play 100% uh, OP with a slower needle. Here, obviously, you can play with a ball that has more power than power three, then the needle will be completely slow if it is a P4 or P5 ball. The ball comes over to the other fairway nicely, and we're looking to be around 370 yards approximately. Second shot is a B52. Here you can play with B52 level five plus because then as we're doing a rough bump, uh, the ball guideline will still be very helpful. Doing a rough line check is a back rough check. Uh, and then we are using one right spin and uh, two and two clicks of top spin. 
So we're gonna have the bold guideline to go plenty through. You can see here it's going plenty through the hole and we're also having the red ring to be just by the rough line. Now, all right, from plus seven back rough check, we're playing 10% slider with a 10% elevation P3 numbers, adding or subtracting 0.1 for every yard. Center the ball and hit perfect. And uh, we do have a ball bounce into the rough and we drop it dead center for a lovely eagle here on hole number four. For hole number five, option number one, we're going to play with our quarterback. Start with a power zero ball to find a complete max line with the inner ring to the left rough. I would recommend definitely to zoom in so you can clearly see uh, the inner ring by the rough line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 2.2 backspin and 0 0.8 right spin here on option number one. Adjust is max plus 5% elevation P1 number and we're gonna favor 1159. Adjustment is done and in this angle we are going to classify this as the mid angle. We're gonna use two clicks of left curl here with a high wind. Obviously for the full VPR and wind angle tweaks um, then we do have that listed in Telegram and also in the guide so make sure to subscribe to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy for full details on all the shots in a qualifying round guide for a master and also for expert division if that is a, that is of interest for you Here we are using an old slide with just some minor tweaks and that is that we are going to alternate the left spin instead of alternating the curl as we have been doing before. What we're going to do here is to find the same position, we're going to have the red ring just slightly inside the rock or just more importantly pointing towards the bush. We're going to take a look at the wind angle and for the wind angle we are going to go one to one adjust for everything above 17 miles per hour. Everything is explained on the slide. Now the curl as shown and then we're gonna um, hit a full slice, the ball is gonna bounce and then we roll into the rough and rolls out to be by the green. Obviously the outcome of a shot like this is going to be different. It's a slight lottery type of shot which what can I say, uh, the important to have in mind is that even if you're ending up into the rough or into the sand then you're going to be safely getting yourself to the green. So there will be times you will be in the rough, there will be times you will be having a little longer wedge, and there will be times where you have on the video where you're close to green. And obviously that is the thing that we are, that we prefer and what we want to be. On the second shot, you can decide to play this one when it comes to EB school with 20% elevation, or you play it with minus 35% elevation with uh, max top spin or if you want to play with all the boosts which is four top spin boosts have that in mind then we're playing at minus 55 percent p2 obviously if you do have uh, if you want to play the top spin method then you're going to have to play with the Embringer seven or eight otherwise it won't work so obviously the max top spin version here is the one to prefer it's more or less a dead straight tailwind from where i am now uh, but um, yeah, no matter what though, this is such a short wedge that even if you hit great, you're gonna be safely um, in the hole. On the drive on hole and number seven, option number one, we start with the quarterback at max P2 line, which is top of plus 10 white ring to be by the rough line to the right now we're swapping to an apocalypse and also a power three ball if you decided to start with a power two ball if you decide to start with a power three ball you need to just pay attention to start at the top of plus 10 instead of the max line with p3 ball and quarterback seven top spin to right spin this is an apoc six plus shot adjust max plus uh, 10 p3 0 0.8 ball of right curl with a slow needle and max op slow needle try to hit perfect 
and the ball will then roll up to approximately 375. Uh, what we're obviously looking for is to not be below 370 and we don't want to be above 380 either. It's not the end of the world if that happens, but for consistency's sake, this is uh, the 375 is, is a, a perfect spot where we want to be. On the second shot, start by moving to absolute min line, pack the grizzly to easier find the min line, and then we're gonna use two right spin to start with. We're pushing up rings from min to get the ball guideline into the hole with the third bounce to be just before the fringe. Once we have found that spot, we are going to go and respin. We're gonna use half a bar of backspin together with the two right spin. And here comes also in that using two right spin on your ball, like having a ball with two right spin or two side spin is very important, I would say. Now, in this angle, we're going to call for one click of right curl as per default for mid and high wind, but for low wind, we're gonna use two. If we do a more crosswind, we are obviously gonna do different. Adjustment is going to be mid, so it's 50% slider, minus 10% elevation, P3 numbers, pushing up seven or eight rings. And the good part is if you do hit perfect on the drive, uh, we are going to see ourselves being somewhere around seven to eight rings uh, from min all the time. And then obviously we do have the table that follows up when it comes to uh, the, um, when it comes to uh, being a couple of uh, rings too far away or a couple of rings shorter and stuff like that. But obviously for full details, you sign up on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy for the best guides on the market for uh, pro expert and master. Hole number eight, we're gonna play with one right spin and 2.6 backspin or a heavy 2.5. You judge obviously the backspin to what it uh, shows uh, for your eyes. So I'm gonna look here to be just by the edge of the um, rough, still with the ball guideline shown. Now we're gonna go with the ball guideline arc on the left side of the cup. So basically the right side of the ball guideline is gonna be uh, by the pin. I would like to avoid 1159 here. I still want us to pull straight, but if you should favor any side, favor 12 or one. In this angle, uh, we do have a high win first and foremost, and let's talk about the adjustment. It's one to one minus 0 0.3. So I'm adjusting um, 8.2 rings. This is an angle here that I judged as an in-between angle. I played two clicks of left curl due to the fact that we are having a high wind. Obviously all the wind angle tweaks will be listed in Telegram, but also in uh, the guide. In my opinion, this is a really good chance. When it comes to what ball to use, you can use even a power one ball. So you can play with a power one up to power five ball. I would prefer to play with a wind five ball that gives me side spin one. Uh, this to avoid um, having any trouble getting the correct side spin. If you want to get the guide and all the details, you subscribe to patreon.com slash gold clash Tommy. You can also scan the QR code and you get go directly to the site. On the drive, start with a power three ball in NMT. Then we swap to uh, this ball here. Season 51 ball, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna use all the top spin boost and the max top spin. This is for a POC 7 plus. Adjust max plus 10 P5. And if we do have this angle, which is the more crosswind angle, we're gonna push up three yards after we have uh, made our adjustment. This to compensate uh, for not having any tailwind. Now, curl as shown, try to hit perfect because I would say here that the perfect ball is going to be not crucial, but it's gonna be very helpful as that's going to give us the roll up we want. With a great right or a great left, you may get a glitch roll and then the glitch roll could put you in a spot where the second shot might not be as good. Uh, and that's what we are gambling with here uh, on hole nine. On the second shot, we're gonna do a fringe shake, and this is where the fringe meets the fairway before the pin, and this is plus five. 
And now we're gonna move back and we're gonna use the blue ring to be by the bunker and also by the rough line. From there, we're applying whatever top spin and right spin or left spin for that matter that gets the ball guideline to be just to the hole. And this is with our Goliath to as Goliath is the one that do have the top spin needed. Adjustment is going to be from plus eight frame check. It's gonna be 50% slider with 25% elevation. And we're going to play P5 numbers, adding or subtracting 0.1 for every two yards. Perfect ball it is. We are bouncing into the rough, rolls up towards the pin, and getting in to drop nicely for an albatross. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this playthrough for Master Division with Various Wind. Make sure to scan the QR code here on the screen and go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. That is uh, via the link in the description down below. This for our premium guides. We offer premium guides for all the game modes in uh, Golf Clash. Thank you once again for watching. I wish you the best of luck in your Golf Clash game.